Hello gamers, geese and gays. My name is Sturks and welcome back to the Outer Wilds. Now, normally I would do quite a bit of a big intro and just welcome you all to this fantastic adventure. But we're on what part 8 now. You guys know what's happening. I want to get back into the game. I really, really want to see everything that we can out of the Brittle Hollow today. So I'm kind of, I, I guess, treating you guys to a, a shorter intro. And we're just going to go for it. Um, I was blown away by just everything that it had to offer. Like that, the, the soundtrack, the lore. Like I'm still a bit kind of uh, trying to get into my head if the Nomai we've been interacting with through like the, the different plot points and through the archaeological remains. How many of them are contemporary? How many lived at the same time as each other? And which ones lived at different times for each other? Um, so I'm going to have to kind of get that through my little skull and try and figure out what's happening. Now, we know how... Ah, oh, that nearly ended badly. We know how to get underneath the planet's crust now. And I I could fly under there, but I honestly, I don't know if that's the best idea or if we should just kind of follow the route that we started last time. So I think for that reason, I'm just literally, we're gonna kind of retrace our steps from last episode and we're gonna see the other um, districts that we didn't get to have a look at last time. And then, if we don't have time today, um, definitely in like the next episode or two, we will go and look at the other things on Brittle Hollow. The stuff that's on the surface. There's a lot of things here. There's the gravity cannon that I need to go and have a look at. There's whatever that landing site is. That, to be fair, I should probably just land there anyway. Um, there's so much to do here. And now I'm kind of starting to think, like, is there stuff that I missed at, like, Giant's Deep or on Timber Hearth? And the answer to that, of course, is definitely... I've definitely missed things, but we will just deal with that. We'll, we'll, we'll recap later. So, back into the depths of it. Into the thick of it. Into the thick of it. Ugh. I can also now just about breathe. I'm so happy. Um, why is everything falling apart? Yeah, I can now breathe. The cold has near enough vanished. And, oh, I, like you all know, definitely what it's like to have one of those colds that just feels like it will never go away even though I only had it like a week it feels like so much longer so much longer right Rebecca I know you're down there buddy and I really want to meet you but there is stuff that I have left untouched by my blue do I have I guess I have blue hands all the other Harthians are blue, so I'm guessing I'm blue as well. So, we need to go and have a good old look at what the rest of this place has to offer us. And I can tell I'm getting more comfortable now with moving. I mean, I'm, I'm probably going to regret using all this fuel, to be fair. Right, we had a look at this bit, and then we went up there, didn't we? So, we have actually done this. Um... What level are we on? We are on the Meltwater District. We've been to the School District. We need to go to the Eye Shrine District. And then there's the Black Hole Forge. So I think we'll send the Black Forge... The Black Hole Forge... Up. Because if there's a district for it, I'm guessing we can then, like, interact with it a bit. Like, this has got to be here for a reason. As opposed to just, like... Hey, look at this. It's pretty. We can move this. What is a black hole forge though? That's what I'm hoping we can find out. I want I want to know about Nomai Tech. I want to know how this all works. I am becoming obsessed with the Outer Wilds. Like it's all I'm talking about. It's it's becoming unhealthy honestly. Um, okay so we can still go here. That's on the ceiling, but how can we be walking on the ceiling? 
because the black hole will be pulling us down, surely. Oh my, look at this. Oh, look at this. I wonder if anyone's figured out which of these bodies belongs to who. Oh no, that's a baby. It's a little baby, no my. Oh no. Right, am I gonna have to do some parkour? Because I am famously not very good at it. Oh no, not another one. Is that how they sleep? Are these beds? Why would they sleep like that? I'm guessing the skull is just kind of rotated anyway. Oh man, this is so weird. This is so grim. There's so many bodies. Like, this is definitely like... I can't remember what district we're in now. I've already forgotten. Oh my god. Has this black hole... This black hole must have always been here, right? Black holes typically don't form overnight. So they built this city over this. I love these like tablet staff things. I'm guessing that's what it, it I mean obviously it's a staff but I'm guessing it's kind of like a tablet um, which I think is quite cool. I could just imagine like you know, my walking around with it and then like tapping things into it. I can get back up here. I can get back up. Is there any reason to come down here? Are these seats or something? Now that I've seen how Nomai do beds, I'm starting to think the other stuff is quite weird. Right. Cassava. Okay. I imagine I've been hard on Poke again. This in turn means I made things difficult for her sister, Clary. If Poke and I are oil and water, Clary is our emulsifier. She certainly makes us a better team than would mixing through shaking. Although sometimes I would like to shake Poke. Jokes aside, suppose my own fear of never finding the eye prompted my argument with Poke. That would be immature of me. I should apologize, at least to Clary, who could then tell Poke. Come on, Cassava, you can you can do better than that. You can do better than that girl. I'm guessing Cassava's a girl. I don't really know. Oh, I skipped a bit, but I don't believe there was anything important down there. Oh no, send some of these bodies like people that we've just been reading about. Like, is one of these Cassava? One of these must be Cassava. I mean, I'm guessing if there was a body down there, one of them must be Cassava. And maybe Poke. Oh man, this is getting depressing so quick. I get attached to characters too. Like, oh, that one's still kind of partly sat upright. That's unique. Let's, let's go down here first, I think. Right. What is the eye of the universe? The eye is older than this universe, so imagine how much it could teach us. Suppose the eye is a more advanced being. The eye is the source of the signal that brought us here. Perhaps it's a cosmic library. So they don't even know what this thing is that they're looking for. And typically in sci-fi, that's not a good idea. If you've seen Prometheus, you know what I'm you know what I'm talking about. If you don't know what the thing is that you're trying to find, bad things happen. How can the eye be older than the universe itself? Suppose it is a relic from a previous universe. The early universe was unimaginably hot and dense. If anything existed before, it would have been destroyed. Suppose the universe is older than previously assumed. That, 
That, I don't like that. That is a scary thought. I don't know how that's scarier than there being something from before. Ugh. Anyway. What is the eye's signal? Suppose the eye wishes to communicate. The signal is the eye's voice. It speaks a language we don't yet know. Or maybe the signal is the eye's attempt at expressing itself. Or maybe it's a warning. The signal is a call. Were we the intended audience? From the signal we were able to determine the eye's approximate age. Or perhaps its lack of age. We be welcomed in this place. This shrine is a space to reflect on what brought us to this star system. The signal from the eye. We observed the eye signal in our travels and followed it here to find its source. What we know is this. The, signal, the source of the signal, which we have chosen to call the eye of the universe, is older than this universe itself. The rest we have yet to learn. Enter and open your minds to possibilities. I don't know if I want the possibilities. I don't know. These possibilities are getting pretty scary. Alright, so now I need to go up and jump across, I think. Oh. So they didn't even know what it was they were looking for. They just got a signal and went, just went for it. They just decided to follow it. Which, I mean, hats off to them for the gusto. Solanum. I don't believe we've met Solanum yet. I no longer believe, as I did as a child on Ember Twin, that the eye of the universe wishes to harm us. But it may not want to be found, either. That's what I was saying, Solanum! Terrible circumstances of our arrival here were almost certainly exactly that. Circumstance. I suspect imagining we are special to the eye in the same way is wishful. I suspect imagining we are special to the eye in some way is wishful thinking. The eye might have called out to any sentient species. Or it might not have been calling out at all. And that my ancestors heard the eye signal holds no great deep meaning. This wouldn't be so bad, I think. In fact, the eye may not have wishes at all. We have no evidence supporting this. So it could just be a thing. You know, it could just be like a, a like black holes and other like celestial things put out signals you know there's more than beds like stars have signals and whatnot so this could just be something like a really big star i don't know i mean we'd see the really big star i guess but still it does beg the question There's so many. This answers the question of what happened to all the Nomai. Because, like, there, there was a point, I think, where I was starting to have doubts as to how many Nomai there actually were. But I think this has answered it. They just. This is a tomb. This whole solar system is one tomb. Oh, do I need to go the other way? God. What what was the terrible catastrophe? Okay, I can't actually get to the Black Hole Shrine. Not the Black Hole Shrine, the Black Hole District. But then... How... Or can I? I think is it, it, it's all blocked. It's not like I can just jetpack past it, is it? I don't think. Let me go have a look at the other one. I might be able to jetpack past it. 
No, that doesn't... Oh! Oh, mistakes were made! Come on. Right. Ah, right. Let's wait here until, like, I don't know, stamina bar has... Oh, sh shoot! Oh, okay, never mind then. Worth trying, I guess, Sturx. How? Maybe there's a way in from the surface? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That's just a whole chunk gone. This is just... How old is this planet? And is only just kind of giving in. There's Giants Deep over there. Jesus Christ. That was a bit close. Rebecca, are you still here? Buddy, please. Yes, okay. How do I reach you? How do I reach you, Rebecca? Oh? There's some kind of trees. Ha! Oh, ha! Buddy! Oh! Oh, you launched! That's great! Good job, you! Wow, I guess that means I've been out here a while, huh? Well, um, this is Brittle Hollow, but you probably knew that. Lots of history here. It's great. I'm here to see the Hanging City. It's always been my dream to see it with my own eyes. Ever since I was a hatchling. An alien race lived in this solar system long before our species even existed. How could I not want to see what their civilization was like? Only... You probably heard the others say it, right? I'm... I'm afraid of space. Seriously, I'm more surprised than anybody that I'm out here. Do you want to know how I even got this far? I fell. Chipped over a gravity crystal. Dumb luck, I landed somewhere my little scout says is halfway stable. Instead of being sucked into what's below, I've been gauging the stability of the ground around me using my little scout, and this seems to be the place with the best surface integrity. So I'm just going to stay here until I'm ready to move on. That's enough about me and my problems. You didn't come all this way to listen to me blather, did you? <laughs> that That'd be... <clears throat> yeah. I learned something. Oh, cool. What is it? I saw the Hanging City. You visited the Hanging City? Oh, gosh, how was it? Was it amazing? Was it beautiful? Was it scary? The Hanging City is where the Nomai settled permanently on Brittle Hollow. It was their most advanced settlement here. Why they chose to build their most advanced settlement so close to you know what is beyond me. Maybe that kind of thing makes sense to an Omai, though. Maybe they needed the black hole for something. Oh, wow, where shouldn't you explore? Um, not the black hole. Actually, that's very... No. What do you mean? Um, what do you mean, actually? Oh, wait, no. Oh, not the black hole, actually. I, I was reading that as... Actually, maybe you should. Which is unfortunate because uh, the most exciting stuff is all below the crust, including the Hanging City. That's just to the north. You can kind of see it from here. So we've done that. There's also this big dome on the South Pole. So there's also this big dome on the South Pole called the Southern Observatory. You can't get inside from the surface. Trust me. I tried. But if it's like the rest of the Nomai structure here, there's probably a path to it beneath the crust. Good luck with exploring. And if you learn anything about the Nomai, I'd love to hear it. If it's not too much trouble. 
What are you doing out here? Me? I'm an archaeologist, remember? Oh, I'm the archaeologist, I guess. Seeing as I'm all Tim Mahar Scott right now. Brittle Hollow is rich with no my history, and that's why I'm here. This planet is an absolute treasure trove of culture, history, and science. If you have any questions about the Brittle Hollow no my, I'm your Hearthian. Or um, I have some knowledge of them. I mean, so maybe I can help. What right, did I actually? Okay, so I don't actually have anything to tell him. But we found him. We finally found him. Just in time as well, by the sounds of it. Tower of Quantum Knowledge? I know we're not going to get anywhere useful. Especially seeing as the whole planet is just... Oh my god, it's coming apart. Oh my god. You know what? Let's go for it. Let's just find a pretty place. Oh, that is... So that's what happens. Wow. Everything is just here? I have no words. I ha I'm... I am lost for words. Wow. I just... that was... Quite possibly the most beautiful thing I've seen in this game. And that's weird because it was inside a black hole. Well, that's what happens, ladies and gents, when you fall into a black hole, I guess. Oh my god. This goddamn game. I have the bug now for this. I, I mentioned it at the beginning. I am just becoming addicted to this. This is just so much fun. And I, I've alluded to it before, but this is the first time in a genuinely long time that a game has made me feel like this strongly about things. Like... It's ridiculous, like the feelings that this game gives you, just like the, the raw, visceral reactions. It's like the first time seeing a beautiful sunset over like the sea or something like that, or if you've ever been up a mountain or anything like that, you know, the first time you do things, it's just absolutely awestruck at all times playing this game and I just can't really put my finger on as to why like just I found this the other day when I was getting some like behind the scenes footage and just look at that like there are games that are pretty like Red Dead 2 I'm looking at you um and Star Citizen as well does this very, very well. But this game was released in what, like... I want to say like 2016, 2018, maybe 2019. Probably not quite as long ago as I thought it was. 
but by a small group of people that love games. And you can tell I'm addicted. I need more. Oh my god. Anyway, everyone, thank you so much for joining me on the adventure. I appreciate it's maybe not quite as long an adventure as usual. It's just however long the days are. But oh my god, I cannot... What well, is the cloud thing? What are you? Might need to look at that. Anyway, next time we're going to go back to Brill Hollow and I'm going to try find the other bits before the planet falls to pieces and try explore some of them. Uh, and then we might even need another one after that just to kind of finish off Brittle Hollow. But where do you want to see after Brittle Hollow? Let me know. Where do you think I should go next? I think it's probably going to be either the Ashen Twin Project or we're going to go to the Dark Bramble, which I hate. I hate the Dark Bramble so much. But anyway, guys, I'm, I'm just smiling like an idiot. Thank you all so much for joining me. It's been an honor. As usual, I have been Sturks. You guys have just been incredible. And I'll see you all later in the next episode.